Hello friends, today we are going to see how safe is our drinking water and how to conduct a simple test at home and find the results for ourselves. If you did not subscribe to my channel so far, please do subscribe. Water is considered safe for drinking if the TDS level in it is between 50 and 100 and pH level is between 6.5 and 8.5. First, let us understand what this TDS and pH means. TDS is nothing but total dissolved solids which is measured as parts per million which is ppm. TDS is any salt, metal or mineral in the water. Lesser the TDS, better the quality of water. Higher the TDS value, higher the level of contamination in the water which can cause lot of health issues. Any water source with a TDS value between 0 and 200 is quite safe for drinking or cooking. As we see in this table here, 0 to 50 is the water from RO systems or DI purification systems. And 50 to 200 is the carbon filtered water like the Brita or any spring water. If it is greater than 170, it is hard water and if it is between 300 and 400, it is very marginally acceptable TDS value and anything beyond 400 is very high level TDS and very highly contaminated water. pH is nothing but power of hydrogen. pH scale is used to measure if any water-based solution is acidic or basic. Lesser the pH value Acidic is the solution and greater the pH value, basic is the solution. At room temperature, pure water will have a pH value of 7 which is neutral. It is neither acidic nor basic. This is the tedious meter that I bought online on Amazon. I am providing the links in the description section for you. The reverse side of this meter has the index of various tedious levels and what they mean. And this is the pH meter that I bought online as well. Please check the description section for the shopping links. Further, you will need bottle distilled water from the store for conducting this test. This pH meter needs to be calibrated so that it can provide accurate results when we start using for testing. When you buy a pH scale, you get three solution powders along with the pack. One of them is neutral that is having a green label and one is acidic that has a red label and a basic solution which has blue label. You need to take 250 ml of distilled water in three different cups and add these solution powders in each of them. Mix it thoroughly so that all the solution powder is dissolved in the water completely. Make sure that you use three different spoons to mix the solution as they are at different pH levels. Further take half cup of distilled water in another glass. This is used to cleanse the pH meter after you immerse in each solution. This is to ensure that you get accurate results on the test. Now turn on the pH scale and immerse it in the first solution. Now stir in and press the calibrate button once. It should read as 6.86 as shown on the packet. This is a neutral solution which has a pH value close to 7. Now cleanse the meter in the distilled water and pat it dry with the tissue and immerse it in the second solution. Give it a stir and press the calibrate button twice. So this should read as 4.01 which is acidic solution. Again cleanse it in the distilled water and immerse it in the third solution which is basic. Give it a stir and press the calibrate button three times. This should record as 9.18 and this is a basic solution. Finally cleanse it again in the distilled water and pat it dry. Now your pH meter is calibrated and ready to test. 
If you wish, you can measure it yet again and see that you get the same results. I have filled the glasses with various water sources that I have at my home. These are the ones that I want to test so you can collect the different sources that you really want to test at your home. I put a label for easy reference later on so I can record the reading and then compare the results. Also keep the distilled water for cleansing the meter. Now let us measure the pH value for each of the water source and record it in the label respectively. Remember to cleanse the meter after you immerse in each of the water source. The meter reads a 7.63 for my tap water. It is 6.93 for my Brita carbon filtered water. 7.88 for my boiled and cooled tap water. 6.78 for my boiled, cooled and Brita carbon filtered water. 6.05 for bottled distilled water. Finally, 6.50 for my bottled purified water from the store. Similarly, let us measure the TDS now and record it on the labels respectively. Remember to cleanse the meter after you measure in each of the water source. It reads 108 for my tap water. 93 for my Brita carbon filtered water. 118 for my boiled and cooled water. 71 for my boiled, cooled and carbon filtered water. It reads a 1 for my bottled distilled water and 0 for my bottled purified drinking water from the store. You can see that I have recorded the pH levels and TDS levels for each of the water sources that I tested today. Lastly, I made the distilled water at home and tested that as well. For this distilled water, take a pot and fill it with water up to half or little less than half of the pot. Place another small bowl on the surface of the water and close it with an inverted lid. There must be a little space between the small bowl inside and the lid. This will allow to collect the precipitated water. Allow the water to boil continuously till you collect some water in the small bowl. This is definitely a very time consuming process and it takes a lot of energy as well. I have some water collected in my small bowl. Now let us measure the pH and TDS values for this homemade distilled water. My homemade distilled water recorded a pH value of 7.25 Now the TDS, it is reading as 27 for me. Ideally this should have been 0 but nevertheless it is under the safe drinking water limits. Here are the results of the tests I conducted today on the various water sources at my home with the rankings based on advantages and disadvantages. Based on my test results today, boiled, cooled and carbon filtered water is the most economical option with safe levels of pH and TDS. 
I did come up with a blog write up on this topic with more thoughts. Please do check out the description section for the blog links. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please press like button, share and subscribe to my channel. If you happen to test the water sources at your home or in a different place where you visit, please do share the results in the comment section. Thank you.